Can Monday.com be the one tool that realtors can use to control every aspect of their business? Well, that's what we're going to find out today. What's up, guys? Louis here. Welcome to the channel. Now, Monday.com has always been a program that I've been interested in, although I had never really started using it until a couple of months ago. I was recommended it by a couple of uh, productivity people that I know who I really respect. And I was like, well, I'll give it a chance here. I'll, you know, I, I've come from Notion, I've come from Trello, I've come from Asana, all these different ones. So initially, I was like, I, I don't want to try another program to check out. But Turns out it's pretty legit. So I'm going to take you through an overview of Monday.com and how I think realtors could use this tool every day in their business. And then you let me know what you think of it. So let's jump in. All right, guys, we're in the computer and we're on Monday.com. Now, it is free to use for up to two seats. Then you can start paying monthly depending on how you're going to use it, how you're going to integrate it into your teams or your business or whatever you're doing with it, okay? But you do not need to do anything uh, to get started for free. So the last thing I will say about the pricing here, it's per seat, $9 per seat. And the minimum you can get right now is three seats. So just be aware, it's kind of sneaky how they put this on. This video is not sponsored by Monday.com, so I'll just give you the legit things that are going on here. So it's $9 per seat if you upgrade or $12 per seat to standard, which is what I use. But you have to have a minimum of three seats, which means three people in your business can actually be involved. So maybe your TC, maybe your VA, whoever it is, can jump in and be involved. So really it'd be like 36 a month if you're gonna do it like that on standard, 27 a month on basic, 57 a month on pro. Got it? Good. Okay, let's jump in. So when you sign up for monday.com, it'll bring you into a place just like this. You can see there's not much kind of going on here. You can click on the home button. It'll take you to your dashboard. Uh, I've got some uh, stuff in here that I'm working on, um, but we're gonna kind of go from a fresh perspective today. So you can click around. It's gonna show you all your dashboards, all the things that you set up. So what you want to do when you're first in here, guys, is create a new workspace. Now I've got a couple right here, but you can hit these three dots right here and you can come down and hit add new workspace just like this and you can call it whatever you want so new workspace for louis team all right and you might be a single agent you can still use it just like this okay so hit add workspace boom and we've got a completely fresh deck so what i want to show you today is just a bit of project management on how i would use it in a production side of my business so for instance today we're going to talk about farming all right i usually use examples of open houses and different things let's talk about farming and how i would build out a board for that so in monday.com you can see it's there's not a ton of things to click on right now which makes it pretty easy to navigate through what we want to do is start adding boards so a board is where things are going to be imagine just a whiteboard in your office that's what this is going to be you can click here and add it from templates pretty much everything you can think of they have a template in here and as you can maybe see one of the reasons i actually quite like monday is that it's really pleasing to the eye some of the programs like notion some of the other ones don't really catch your eye i think notion's super duper powerful but it's not really that pleasing to the eye. It kind of takes concentration to be in there working. All the colors and the navigation in here make this quite a pleasing place to work inside. So you kind of want to keep it open, which is nice. So you can pick from templates in here. What we're going to do is start from scratch. So start from scratch, just like this. And we're going to do this one. This is going to be a board that's going to build for us right here. Click. I'm going to go use template. Click. And then it's going to build out our little template board for us, just like this. Perfection. So now we have a board to start working on on our project. Now, this could be anything for you. And I have multiple boards in my business. You know, you might have a board for all of the pillars of your business. You might have it for farming. Maybe you have it for lead generation. Maybe you have one for social media. All the different things that you work on in your business day to day. This is how you're going to start building them out and really creating structure around the things that you work in. So let's go ahead and have a look at the board. Obviously we have the title here and you can rename this by clicking the three dots, rename board. Let's just type in farming strategies, just like that. And now you can see we have a couple tables here that you can collapse that is built for the template. 
we have items, action items, we have the people that they're assigned to, we have the status of the task, the date that is uh, expected to be done on, and you can add on different columns, which we'll talk about in just a minute here. But basically what we want to do here is look at, okay, if we were farming, what are the main groups of things that we would want to really be working on? Either just individually by myself or with a team, with a VA, with an assistant, with another agent I'm working with, maybe you work with your spouse, what are the things that you would be working on to actually successfully farm an area? So let's just put some examples in here, right? So let's look at mailers, okay? That's probably one thing that we need to start building out and building out that project and making sure we have mailers go out, okay? We would also have circle prospecting. Circle prospecting is massive in farming, all right? Getting on the phones, making sure we're calling, making sure that we actually notify people that we're starting to work in the farm in the neighborhood. And let's just do one more. Maybe it's like local events, okay? Where can we have our presence in our events and where can we get out into the community and work? So now that we have these kind of three things that we're gonna be working on together, let's start building these out. Now, let's just concentrate on the top one here for the start. So you can see it has tasks already built in from this template. To add a task, you just click on here to add your item. You can just say task one or two, and it'll add it like that. To delete it, you just click on the box. You can see down here, we have options to delete them or archive them. So we'll go ahead and we'll delete these guys right here and start fresh, just like that. So now our mailers piece is very clean very nice to look at and let's start building this out so for mailers what do we need okay well we need list of addresses excellent we need uh, graphics done we need sales copy we need a mailing company and we can keep on building out and building out and building out. So now we have these four tasks. Let's start to look at them and how we can actually use them inside. Now, you can see people in the board. I'm gonna click on here and you can see that I've got myself, I've got someone else, AI Adam is in here, who we're working on a couple of projects together, but I might start assigning it to these people. So let's just assign it to myself, okay? I'm gonna be the one that works on lists of addresses. The status right now is that I'm working on it and the date here, I want to have this done by uh, May 12th. So cleaning up the tasks and starting to look at this, if we clean them all up like this, people, uh, let's go, let's send this one to Adam. Let's say working on it and let's go, okay, if we got that from May 12th, let's have that done by, you know, the 14th. And maybe Adam and I are gonna work on the sales copy together, just like this. And we haven't started it yet, so we'll just leave it blank but we want to get uh, working on that, you know, this week. And then the mailing company, I'll just put on myself because I want to find that. I'm going to work on it like this. So cool. All right, well, now we've got people in place that are going to work on things. And again, this could be anyone in your organization. If you have a VA you're working with, if you have an assistant, TC, whoever, you can add them on to your board. All you have to do is come up here, invite, and you can invite people to your board at any time. So now that we've done the overview of each of these tasks, let's dig into it a little bit. So let's click on this first task, list of addresses. We can just open it right here. Boom. And it will open up some um, things that are going on in this task. Actually, let's go ahead and work uh, in the sales copy one because Adam and I are working together. So this is really cool because you can start to put updates in here. So you can say, hey, update, started the copy inside chat GPT. And then you can mention the people on your board. So I can say Adam. So I can say the at sign then click Adam. Can you run it again using my uh, GPT clone? All right, because Adam Gillespie, if you don't know, uh, you should check out his YouTube channel, ChatGPT Genius. Um, but I'm saying, hey, okay, I've started writing the copy. Can you take it and run it through uh, ChatGPT using my clone? And then what I can do is if I have the copy, I can either write it in here as an update or I can click on files and then I can just upload it. So maybe I have a Google Doc, maybe I have a notepad. I can upload it in here and he can pull that 
information off on Monday, copy and paste it in the chat GPT, do whatever he wants. And then we can look at activity log and you can see here's what's happened on this task so far. It was created, these people were added, the status was changed and the date was changed and all this stuff's going on. So pretty cool, you can see a lot inside of each task as to what's actually happening. Now, if I go back to the dashboard, I can see that there's comments on these tasks and you can have conversations inside of Monday. I love this because if you work with teams, if you work with TCs, whatever, you sometimes are on Slack all day going back and forth about different things you're working on or text messages or email. And it's like, oh my gosh, the communication is all over the place. I'm in Slack, I'm in text, I'm in email, I'm wherever. So if you keep it all in this one platform for different tasks and things you're working on, it makes it super simple and streamlined. Now, what's really cool here is say that I have now done the list of addresses. So let's go ahead and change that to done. Uh, maybe Adam's having a hard time with the graphics. So maybe he comes in here and changes it to stuck. Let's say that the sales copy is being worked on and the mailing company as well is being worked on. So now we've got different statuses here and you can see this kind of bar down here. What we're looking for is that to go completely green and we know that this is done, this project's awesome, everything's on track and we're dialed in. But you can look at it and just take a glance and be like, okay, cool, most of this stuff is being worked on right now and there's a little bit stuck and there's a little bit done. So just from a bird's eye view, you can see it and see what needs help, maybe what needs you to interject into the actual product. So just looking at this now, you can see what's been going on and where things are at. Now, what you can also do is search by person. So if I click on person here and I click on Adam, I can just see the things that Adam is involved in right here. And maybe I just want to see, hey, is Adam stuck on anything? I can just click on the filter here. So where status is stuck. So I can say, hey, is Adam stuck on anything? Let me see. Okay, cool. He is. Okay, he's stuck on graphics. How can I help him? So if you have like a big list, a lot of projects going on, you can just pull it up and be like, hey, where's my VA stuck? Or where is my spouse stuck or my partner, whoever I work with? And that way project management becomes an absolute breeze. It's super cool to see it visually like this. And it's very, very easy to set up, which is what I love. So let's take those filters off here. Now, the last thing I just want to show uh, as we're looking at this is the different views that you can see. And in future videos, we're going to get into the automation things that you can add on, which are massive. I want to add on automations. You do need a, a upgraded account for this. So we'll get into that in a different video if that is for you. But what I want to show you is different boards that we're working on because this is pretty cool to look at. It's nice, but maybe you want a different view. So right here, you can add new views. Uh, there's no dashboard right now, but you can click this plus button right here and pick what you want to see so right now this is a table view i love a kanban view if you're used to using trello maybe asana this might be something that you're uh, used to working on so now i can see what exactly is being worked on stuck done and hasn't been categorized yet so you can see in this kind of view you can also look at a calendar view so we can look okay for the, this month, what's coming up? Okay, well, on the 27th, the sales copy needs to be done. We can also have a Gantt view right here. We click on here. This is kind of like shows you what's coming up in the future. And with more tasks on it, you'll see a lot more stuff. Uh, but it will show you all the different things that are popping up here and populize them inside of the view. Now, Hopefully you can see kind of what this looks like. And again, if you're just working as a solo agent, you can still do this. I use a lot of this just for myself, for daily tasks, for reminders. I have this linked up with my Slack. I have this linked up with my Gmail to remind me of different things. And we'll get into those in different videos because not only Monday is simplistic, but it's actually really, really powerful. This overview was just really to show you, okay, here's how you set things up and here's how you can project manage for different things that you're working on to make sure that things are streamlined. And of course, boards aren't the only things that you can create. If I hit the plus button here, you can see that we can add portfolios, we can add documents, dashboards, all these different things. If you add a document right here, you can say farming doc, if I could spell correctly create the document. And what we can do now is have a document to support everything we're doing. So maybe you want to create SOPs, standard operating procedures for farming. Well, you can just put them in here. So I might uh, keep this in here and say, Adam, mention Adam. And so he knows this is for you. 
This is the table we are working on this week. What's really cool is I can click here and hit a backslash. And then, you know, you can um, capitalize this, make the text different, you can put in codes, but you can also look at the different things you are using. So maybe there's a board specifically for Adam. We're going to click on here, farming strategies. And it puts it right into the supporting document. So now this is super cool. So maybe now we want to start a folder for just farming strategies. So let's click on this one more time. Plus, let's go ahead and go down to the bottom, new folder. Farming strategies. Click on there. I'm just going to take this and move it to the top. And then I'm just going to move this in here. Move this in here. And now we've got our farming strategies. And look how clean that is. Now you can add in all your different pillars of business. It's not taking up all the space here. But what's cool is that if you're doing multiple different things, maybe you're doing probate, maybe you're doing social media, uh, maybe you're doing pay-per-click ads, whatever it is, you can put these strategies in in different folders so they're not messy, it's not all over the place, it's very streamlined and it's very easy to utilize and walk through. So you might have a main document that everyone can look at, understand what we're working on, here's what we're doing, and then they can have the actual board and they can see what they are assigned to, what they're working on, the progress of it, and you can come in here and make sure everything is dialed in. So that's a brief overview of monday.com and we're just scratching the surface here, but I want you just to see what this tool can actually do. And honestly, for me, the visualization of it, how clean it is, how kind of nice it is to navigate through. Some of the programs I use are maybe more powerful, but they're not as clean to look at, which makes my brain not want to work inside them, which means that tasks and productivity doesn't actually get done. And I think that's super important. And I think it's something a lot of people don't talk about. So because of this, I can use Monday.com very easily on all of the sides of my business. Now, in future videos, we're going to get into automations. We're going to get into dashboards. We're going to talk about all the different things that you can do inside Monday. And we'll go through it step by step because I do believe that this is a powerful tool that realtors could actually use to systemize, structure and build their business to scale. So hopefully you enjoyed that video. Hopefully you got something. Maybe you want to download Monday, play around with it, start building things out and have a look. I'll be dropping more videos on this program as I dig into it a little bit more, as I uncover some different things that I think realtors specifically could use. So stay tuned. If you haven't been here before, you can subscribe to the channel. You can click all the links below to check out everything that we do. And I'll see you on the next one.